Hello everyone, this is Jaren from MarineAndReef.com and currently we are approaching the holiday season. And with that season coming, things are starting to get a little bit colder, people are spending more time inside, you may be having more company over, and it gets extra important that that aquarium looks really good. Because of that, we're gonna go over a few tips on how to keep your aquarium clean. Some of these you may already know, but hopefully at least one of them will be new to you. Our first tip is use a magnetic glass cleaner. One thing I told people all the time when I was working in a retail store was, the easier something is to do, the more you're gonna do it. The magnet cleaner is the perfect example of that. If you don't have to get your hands wet, you can just move the outside magnet. You're gonna clean your glass a lot more and your glass is then gonna be much cleaner simply because it's easier. These come in all kinds of sizes. There's the Flipper brand, there's many others, and they're a great choice for anybody. Next is a self-priming siphon. If you've ever siphoned your aquarium and used your mouth to start the siphon, you've probably tasted gross, disgusting water far too many times. Only once is too many times. And just like with the magnet cleaner, the more pleasant and less dreadful that activity is, the more you're actually gonna do it. So adding a Python starter bulb like this will go on the end of your gravel vac. You'll be able to start the siphon without having to suck on it with your mouth. It's gonna make it easier, make it much more um, pleasant to do that siphoning, therefore you're going to do it more, your aquarium is going to be cleaner because of that. The next thing you have here is an automatic top-off. This is an ice cap automatic top-off, there's many other brands. When I started in this hobby, I thought an automatic top-off was a luxury that only some people had, and now I don't know if I'd ever set up a tank without it. If you're gonna travel for any period of time and don't wanna worry about pumps running dry, or you simply just wanna to top off your reservoir once a week or a big reservoir every two, three weeks rather than daily top offs, the auto top off is great at that. You simply put the sensor in your tank, run the hose between your reservoir and the tank, and then it's gonna automatically refill the tank until the reservoir is empty, and then you refill that reservoir. Just a great tool, makes things a lot simpler, again, especially if you're traveling. With traveling, we're going to look at the automatic feeder. Um, this is something I didn't have for a long time, and I eventually got it when I was traveling. I didn't want to have someone else come and feed my fish. I wanted to have it consistent. I put the auto feeder on my tank, and I still have it. Even when I'm at home, I like the auto feeder because sometimes I'm busier than other times. Sometimes I can't show up at the same time every day to feed my fish. I want to make sure it's feeding the exact same amount every single time. So when you automate it, it'll continue to put that food in regularly every time. This is the lifeguard feeder, and this is my favorite feeder for one reason, that has a power cord. So you don't have to worry about the batteries going bad, which makes this even lower maintenance. You don't have to periodically check. As long as it's plugged in, it's gonna keep on running, and that's why I like it. Another device that many people don't know exists is this automatic skimmer neck cleaner. So if you have a saltwater tank with a skimmer like I do, I clean my skimmer probably about twice a week, and it's it's no fun. You're basically cleaning out that skimmer full of gross fish poop and all kinds of stuff. The skimmer neck cleaner is gonna clean the inside neck of your skimmer automatically throughout the day. And when you couple this with a waste collector, very common you won't have to touch that skimmer for a month or more. And I actually know people have put the neck cleaner on it, plumb the skimmer to the sewer, and they pretty much never have to clean it, except for the pump maintenance once a year. So anything like that will reduce your maintenance and make things a lot easier versus that bi-weekly cleaning of that skimmer neck so that it's working. Our next tip is gonna be using a pump to mix your salt water. When I started out, I was mixing all my salt water by hand and it got really tiresome. It would take 30 minutes of mixing, mix a little, do something, come back, mix a little. There's a lot of very nice affordable pumps like this little lifeguard pump that are great at mixing salt. I typically use this pump inside one of the blue life jugs that we're going to highlight next. You just drop it in and it'll mix the salt water out for you. You don't have to manually do it. It's money well spent considering that these are very affordable. The 
With these Blue Life jugs, one thing I've realized over time is when I'm doing my water changes, one thing I constantly struggled with was, am I taking out the same amount of water I need to put in? Because if I took out too much, then I'd wind up pulling the salt water in and it wasn't enough, then I'd have to mix up some more salt water. So one of my favorite things to do is to use two identical containers. When I do my water changes, I use two of these Blue Life jugs. One sits down below filled with my new water ready to go, one with the old water. I start my siphon with the siphon starter we looked at earlier. And once the water level is equal between the two jugs, I stop siphoning, pour all the new water in, and I added exactly the right amount of water. I didn't have to guess, then turn the pump back on and wait. I just know I did it right. It makes that water change process a lot easier. Speaking of water changes and top-offs, you should use your own RO system. When I started, again, I didn't have my own RO system and I considered, you know, it's not that expensive to go to the fish store and to buy the water myself. But what I didn't realize is that it was work. When I needed to do a water change, I needed to drive to the store, haul a bunch of jugs, fill all the jugs up, take them back, mix the salt into that, and it just got way too complicated. Same thing with topping off the tank and adding this extra trip in to go grab it, fill up my whole back of the car to get water. And having your own RO system really helps. It lets you know that you can have water at any time. Because it's easier to have water, you're going to use that more. You're going to use more water with your water changes. You're going to top off your tank uh, more frequently because you have the water available. And the truth is that RO systems are very affordable. Um, this 50 gallon per day RO Buddy is the most affordable RODI system we have and it does a great job. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It produces great water and it's a great option for people who are concerned about the budget of starting out with an RO system but are tired of lugging buckets back and forth. Um, just a great device. The next thing is if you have an RO system there are multiple uses for RO water. This is a bottle I keep by um, our tank here in the office of just RO water, just a spray bottle. And RO water is great for all kinds of things. You can use it to clean your glass. It's my go-to glass cleaner. If you get salt creep in different um, rims of the tank or other pieces of equipment, the RO water will make it come right on off. And it's just an awesome thing because you don't have to spend money on any kind of glass cleaner. Just simply filling the RO water into a spray bottle lets you clean very well. You know it's safe and you have plenty of it because you have your own RO system. Then our last tip is going to be using um, vinegar. So vinegar is useful for all kinds of things. Um, I tend to mix a little bit of vinegar in with my RO water to make an even more effective glass cleaner. But beyond just that, vinegar is great for any time you need to clean calcium deposits. If you have a freshwater aquarium that has calcium deposits around the rim, an acid like vinegar is really good at taking them off. It's also great if you have pumps that get lime and hard water buildup on it. Simply just pouring some vinegar into a small container, a glass, or bucket, soaking that pump in it will burn all of those hard water stains off. It'll take coral and algae off and make those pumps look like brand new, keep them working effectively, and it's a lot easier than trying to go in and manually scrub all of that calcium buildup off of the pumps. We hope you found one of these tips helpful. If you have any more questions or if you're looking for more tips like this, please visit the videos and education section on marineandreef.com.